Hi, I'm Joe Marcella, Vice President of Product Line Management for Sienna's Packet Networking Division. And I'm excited to be talking to you today about our new line of 5G X-Hall routers. We'll even be doing a brief demonstration of the ability to aggregate a 10 gig client up to a 400 gig line. One of the big drivers going to 5G for operators is really around the need to increase bandwidth. What 3GPP calls EMBB, or Enhanced Mobile Broadband. This ability to increase bandwidth not only affects the UE, the RAN, and the core, but it has a big effect on the underlying wireline wire infrastructure underneath. The ability to support higher bandwidth is not the only driver for operators going to 5G. The ability to reduce the latency to support user applications like AR, VR, and advanced gaming is another key driver. The other big driver in the industry is really around machine to machine and IoT. Each of these use cases is actually creating different physical requirements on the network, requiring us to look at things like network slicing to create virtual slices through a single physical common infrastructure. With all these different use cases, it's having an effect on the underlying architecture of how we build radio access networks. Today, majority of networks are building what's called a distributed RAN or DRAN architecture, where the processing for that radio is located, co-located with the radio itself. As we move to 5G, the increase in the amount of radios means it's no longer economically or in some cases even physically possible to collate, co-locate those resources together with the radio. So that leads to a split in the overall processing requirements. The first between the RU and the DU, which is called the frontal interface for applications that require less latency. And for the second split between the DU and the CU for applications which were able to handle a little bit more latency, could be somewhere between 70 and 80 kilometers away. The next big trend is really around virtualization. Whether it's a DRAN architecture or a CRAN architecture, operators are looking to take advantage of the ability to disaggregate software from hardware and run that software in a common compute storage location. With all these in mind, we believe mobile network operators, or MNOs, will ultimately seek packet routing solutions that deliver to them operational efficiencies, capex savings, as well as increased service velocity to, to, for competitive differentiation. So the new 5G portfolio has five key enhancements over previous generations of technologies. The first is around high-scale 25 gig E aggregation for locations that really have a high degree of radios and need that extra degree of power. The second one is really around the ability for the first time to aggregate those eight connections up into 400 gig interfaces, where 100 gig and 200 gig is just simply not enough. The third is really around the ability to support X-Hall capabilities. CIPRI, eCIPRI, both front hall, mid hall, as well as back hall, all within the same platform. The fourth gets into the idea of network slicing and the ability to support hard slicing and soft slicing through flexible Ethernet, as well as segment routing. And then the fifth, where locations that are really sensitive to latency, we can introduce things like time sensitive networking to really optimize the latency restrictions in the network. In this demonstration, which seeks to simulate a 10 gig eCIPRI interface running over a 400 gig line side interface, We've taken a 10 gig test set, tied it into the 5166, aggregated it through the fabric to a 400 gig QSF BDD interface, looped it back, and then put it back through the test set. And you can see on the test set here that it's all green and running live. So in February of 2020, we announced a new line of XL routers. All come with a common 800 gig fabric. They're built for hardened enclosures and all support sync and GNS timing capabilities. The first in that family, the 5164, has 32 110 25 gig interfaces that can be aggregated up into four 100 or 200 gig line side interfaces. The second in that family, the 5166, is the same basic principle as the 5164, but instead of four 100 gig interfaces, we have two 200 or 400 gig interfaces for locations that need a higher degree of bandwidth. And the final member of the family, the 5168, is the same as the 5164, with the additional programming capabilities, which allows us to support 18 ports of CIPRI for the transition from four gig to five gig for radio operators. 5G promises significant performance updates over existing 4G LTE networks. To realize these performance benefits, we need to upgrade the wireline network. The Sienna portfolio of XL routers is designed specifically to help operators upgrade their wireline network to take advantage of the growing move to 5G networks.